up, everybody? It is Selly, and while we were down here in Lauderdale, we hopped on board the Foil Cat. Now, you guys know I've talked a lot about this. We've shown a lot of content on this and on the build, all the incredible Garmin, the Empire Bus, the Lumashore, the Fusion Stereo System. Well, now it's done. We're in Lauderdale. I want to give you guys a quick walk around tour of this boat, and some of the highlights of this is, first of all, we're gonna start back here. We've got a pair of the Mercury 400s with the Optimus steering system. As you can see, it's holding us in place right now with the position hold on it. And we've got a 12 foot beam. So we're pushing those motors really far apart. So those motors are really able to leverage us really nice and hold us in place. And then you're gonna see here, we have dual live wells here. We've got the really nice, you know, Gemlux hardware. We come in here, we've got nice thick hatches. You can take a look down in there. We've got Lumashore bait well lighting inside of there. Everything's all good to go. We've got matching on both sides because it is a catamaran. We've got that kind of room. We also have, if I move my bag out of the way, incredibly deep and great access down here in these bilges. So we take a look down here. We've got a lot of space down there. Everything's really nicely rigged, easy access. And again, that's matching on both sides. And then as we make our way forward here, we've got another storage box, fish box right here. That's all set up. We've got our, you know, it's all drainable, it's insulated. We can do whatever we need to with that. So we go ahead, we get that one shut. If we pan around back over here, you're gonna see we have three across seating here and at the helm. So just at the back area here, we've got our two front of the bench seat. We've got three here, we've got three here. And the nice thing of this is we've got great use of storage. So if we take this, this is held in place by magnets. Then we open this up and now we have tackle box storage and just more storage here. And then we can go ahead and close this back up We put this guy back in place. And then we also have storage under here as well. You can see we have our life raft, our flares, everything else in here, along with our fusion speakers. So that is all happening right there. And as we make our way forward here on the boat, you're gonna see again, like we talked about, we have the three across helm seating. We've got the complement here of the trio of the 17 inch Garmin 8600 displays. You can see we have our Lumashore controls here. We have our engine display here. And then if we come over here, we can come in, we have already built in a custom home screen set up for just how they're going to use the boat and what they want to do with it. So now we can come in here, we can choose our different features like our Empire Bus. As you see, this is going to go ahead and load up here. Now we've talked a lot about the Empire Bus and what happens on here. We've got our different layouts for helm, for fishing, and for lighting. So we are able to come in here and have all of that control right at our fingertips. So you see we have a really nice big helm area. We've got overhead here. We've got more fusion speakers. We've got our Garmin VHF up here. We've got our Vesper Cortex right here. We've got our Merc display, our fusion stereo. Looking at here, we have our Gemlux uh, outriggers all set up in the hand cranks. Very easy to access. Nice carbon fiber hard top beautifully done. So go ahead and we're going to make our way around over here into what I think is a really incredible part of this boat. You get into most catamarans, you're kneeling. You have a flat deck in here. Well, look guys, I'm, I don't know, depending on what convenience store I'm walking out of, I'm about 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 and uh, I damn near got standing headroom in here and I've got a head. So I've got that space here. We can put a partition here and do a bunk on that side, or we can have another drop in like this for more storage area. And then we've also got all very easy access to all of our rigging right here as well. So we've got this all very easy, good access, very clean, very simple, um, a, a mind towards serviceability and functionality of it. So as we make our way out of here, we're gonna go up to a really cool feature I like on this boat, and that's up forward. And up forward here, if we look, we've got three across lounge seating. And guys, because this is a foil cat, it's, it gets up, it rides on a foil, it's a very smooth ride. At 50 miles an hour, you can still sit up here and you're not gonna get your uh, back blown out on this. You're gonna be very comfortable sitting in here. You also still get to have storage area up here. So you can fit a couple of five gallon buckets, your fishing gear, whatever, and be all set there. And you've got more storage as we look around. And here, we've got seating there. We've got more storage up front. We've got, you know, anchor locker access and all that. So really nice wraparound windshield. We've got our Lumashore light bar up there. We've got our Garmin radar. This boat is something else, guys. It's really awesome. We're really proud to have been a part of it. We want to thank Todd for allowing us to come out here and get on board and go for a ride. If you want to know more about this boat, reach out to Todd at FoilCat. If you happen to be down in Lauderdale or up at Cape Canaveral, you want to set up a sea trial, reach out to him. Find him on social media at FoilCat. 
and uh, we'll tag them down below in this video. Love to get you guys set up and uh, hell, we'd love to see one of these things in New England. So you wanna know more, reach out. And uh, that's about it guys, you know the spiel. Give me a like, follow, subscribe, share, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, at Navtronics, and we'll be back with more soon. Peace.